गुड इवनिंग Can you hear me, man? Yeah. Good. I'm checking my computer, but hello there. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, oh look at Yixael. <laughs> hey, Yixael. I want that. What's up? That's so cool, man. Oh, really? Yeah. Where did you get that? Oh, look at it. Look at him. That's so cool. I was uh, searching some things uh, on on the platform, and I platform. saw this. Yeah, on the platform, and I saw this uh, um, on Zoom. So I, I was checking checking the, right. the thing and answers. So that. this is actually on Zoom. Yeah. Oh wow, that is so cool, man. That is really really cool. Hey everyone, how was your weekend? How was the weekend, guys? How was your weekend, Ricardo? Good evening, teacher. Um, it was uh, uh, cool. And, oh, I see. Uh -huh. and um, so tired too, because I went to Japan yesterday. And Saturday I was uh, working uh, until four, four p.m. You were working until four p.m. Yeah. All right. What about you, um, Mauricio? How was your How was your weekend? What do you do? My weekend it it was good. I relaxing this weekend. Okay. All right. You re okay. You 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 rest. I watch I wa I watch it I watch it. I watched. I watched the victory of Fast. Oh okay, very good, very good. <laughs> hey, check this out, guys. Check this out. <laughs> it's good. All right. <laughs> I didn't know we had these video filters. That's that's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. All right, very good. What about? Oh, you make it this FX. I make this what? Oh, uh, it's this actually effects. it's actually Zoom. Zoom has them. So it's got like filters and the TV and everything, the radio. It's crazy. I didn't see this. It's really cool. All right, very good, guys. Okay, guys. So let's continue, guys. Let's move on. That's funny. All right. So guys, uh, question for you. Did we finish how we all completed, guys? Check section one, two, three, and four. Esther, welcome. Esther, Lucia, welcome. Italo, Jocelyn, Mauricio, welcome. All right, so guys, did we finish section one, two, three, and four? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. I'm asking that, guys, because this uh, this week we have to have, we have to, to have finished section five okay so we have to have completed everything basically all right so it's very important guys it's really 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 important guys for you to have completed the all this all the previous sections okay all right so before this thursday guys we need to have completed section one two three four and five all right okay. very good guys okay. okay so does anybody here guys i'm gonna ask you have, have we all completed section four already? Jocelyn, Italo, Luis Molina, Luis yes. Molina, section four? I finished. Yes, I finished. Four. All right, very good, very good. Section four, finish. All right. You are all allowed to finish the whole platform if you want by now, guys, okay? Uh, the reason why I'm, why I'm asking that is because the sooner you finish the platform, the sooner that we can start, the, the sooner we can start next module. Got it? So that's that's why English Cooperative, Cooperative pushes this so much, guys, because if you finish, if everybody finishes the platform, you know, before or, the day, or on the day that they are supposed to finish the platform, then we do not, you know, we don't have to delay classes, right? We don't have to delay the class anymore, so we can start the module after having having finished that, you know, those those uh, 
those sections, all right? So that's why it's very, very important, guys. All right, other than that, guys, let's jump right into section number five, which is going to be our last section for today. All right, but before we go into that, guys, what model do we use for permission? Who remembers? Can. Can, may, may, shall. Very good. Okay. No one. Very good, very good. Okay, so can, right? Can or may, right? Very good. What, what models do we, use for, do we use for obligations? Must. Must. Shall. Okay. So now, guys, we're going to talk about on real situations, okay? So what will you do, guys, if you found $750 million? All right? And not not $750 million, guys. $750,000, okay? <laughs> not... No millions, guys, okay? That would be richer than the richest person in the world right now. Okay, guys, so let's listen to the conversation, and then you're going to tell me what you would do if you found $750,000, right? So let's take a listen to it. Listen and practice. Oh. Look at this. Hold on, guys. Some guy found $750,000. Can you hear? He returned it. And the owner. Okay. Yes. Part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. All right. Let's repeat that, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Some guy found. Some guy found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. He returned it in owners. All right, guys. Okay. All right. First of all, guys. How do you pronounce this and how do you pronounce this? This, 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 this. This and this. This, this, this okay. and this. Right, right, guys, very quick, okay? Every consonant, guys, has a long vowel sound and a short vowel sound. Every, every, every vowel, guys. So every vowel has what, guys? Every vowel has what, guys? A vowel. Sound. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me... Every vowel has a long vowel sound and a short vowel sound. All right. Oh my God, what's up? All right, guys. So, for example, this, guys. Okay, let's long vowels. Okay. All right. Do we know the sound of these vowel sounds? No. No. Nope. You don't know how to pronounce them? No. Nope. Okay. All right. Let's try to pronounce it. Ricardo. A. A. B. I. O. U. Very good. Okay. Now, they have a short version. Okay. All right. The short vowel sound for A, I mean for A, is A. What is it? Ah, okay, it's an ah, right? Uh -huh. Just ah, very good, okay? Uh -huh. The the short vowel sound for e is it. E. 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 No, just like e. 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 Got it? Do this, guys. E. 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 All right, so now, guys, okay? All right, so e. just uh, just like this, guys. E. Just e, 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 okay? E. All right. Now, we also have we also have you have this you sound the sound of a just a right a a and e right a e repeat guys a e a e a e a e a e all right now this guys okay when you see a vowel that is stopped by a consonant okay what I mean is this guys okay you have this hold on you have okay you have the word this, for example, right? Let's pretend that E, guys, okay? E, the, the, well, the vowel I, okay, but the pronunciation is A, okay? This is, you know what? Let's, let's, let's be inclusive, right? This is a, 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 a really weak guy, okay? All right? This is called, I don't know, guys, whatever you want to call it, okay? All right, but he's really weak, okay? He needs a shield. He needs a what? Shield. Do you know what a shield is, guys? 
No. Escudo. Very good. Okay. So he needs a shield. Okay, a shield. All right. It's yeah. It's that. Okay. It protects you. Got it. Got it. Mm. So what we use for protection. Okay. This shield is. This shield is called consonants. How do we call it? Consonant. 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 What are consonants? Consonant. Consonants is everything, guys. That. That, that that is not vowels. What is it? Everything, Everything that, is that is not vowel. So is this a consonant? Is, is this a consonant? No. Oh, no. no, guys. No. Is, is this a consonant? Yes. yes. Is this yes. a consonant? Yes. Yeah. Is this yes. a consonant? Yes. 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 Very good. Okay. So if if this is stopped by a consonant, guys, in one syllable, I'm not going to give you a full class on this, guys. But this is so you understand, right? So if the vowel, okay, the weak person is gonna be the vowel. What is it? Vowel. vowel. All right. vowel. So if he has a shield, guys, in front of it, it is a short sound. What is it? Short. Short. Sound. short, short sound. All right. It's a short, short. Sound. vowel. Short vowel. Sound. Okay. It's short. a short vowel sound. Short okay. Vowel sound. Vowel so, sound. So you don't say these. Right, Sophia Vergara said this, this and that, right? That's what Sophia Vergara said, right? Right? Yes. So it's not these guys, these, the E is a long vowel sound, yes. E, right? These. Now yes. this one guys, yes. this, is like, this is like whenever somebody hits you, <laughs> right? Okay, ah, E, E, right? So this is this, see, E, eh, that E. Eh. Everybody, this. 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 All right, yes. now compare that with these guys. Now, let's take a, like, let's take a look at these words. These now, the rule here, guys, is that this vowel is si silent, right? So therefore, you have to pronounce it. This is a long vowel sound. Okay, that's another rule, but we're gonna get there soon. So now, these guys, this pronounce. I mean, this is pronounced these. Repeat these. These. All right, and this is this. 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 Okay, all right. This. So I. This. It, it, oh. Ooh. Got it. Those are the. Yes. Ooh, all right, those are the, the short vowel sounds, okay? So it's just so you understand, guys, okay, that you are not this. pronouncing this correctly. You have to pronounce it this, not these. This. You got it? This. Very good. Look at this. All right, check, the, check that out, guys. Check that out. This. Some guy found 750 this dollars. Part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. All right, so what do you say, guys? Look at this. Look at this, right? He, look no, at he this. didn't say these. He, listen, he, do, he doesn't say look at these. Notice this, guys. These, this. These, this. These, this. 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 Look at this. this. Look at this. All right, these, listen, these. listen to it. This. Look at it. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some look guy found. Look at this. Got it? All okay. right. This. Got it. Got it. He didn't say look at these. He didn't say look at these. He said look at this. Look at yeah. this, right? Very good. Look at this. $150,000. All right, let's repeat. Some guy, Some guy, guy found $750,000. guys? $750, oh my God, $750,000. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. What? Wait, what? Thousand dollars. All right, beautiful. In Spanish. Okay, we're, we're learning it in Spanish. Now. Okay. Seven hundred. Seven hundred thousand. Seven hundred thousand. Okay, seven hundred thousand. Ah, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, guys. Okay, that's how much we found. Okay, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Seven hundred fifty thousand. Very good. All right, so let's listen to it. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. All right, repeat. He returned it. He returned it. And the, owner and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. With a phone call. Phone call. All right, very good. So he returned it, and the, the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. Okay, now, this, guys, okay, when you pronounce this, 
thanked him. Now, pronounce it like this, guys. Thank. Repeat. Thank. 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 And then say. Then say. Thank. Thank. Thank them. Thank them. Thank them. Thank them. Thank them. All right. Thank, thank them. them. Okay. Now, like, actually, thank say them. like this. Thank. Thank them. Thank them. Thank them. All right. Thank because them. this, guys, is uh, the final sentence. Is a thank them. Okay? Thank him. All right. You can say thank them or yeah. thank them. Right. Thank you. Very good, guys. All right. Let's thank move on. Thank them. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? All right, let's go. You're, You're kidding. kidding. You're kidding. I found it. I wouldn't return it so fast. So fast. I wouldn't return it so fast. I wouldn't return it so fast. All right, guys. So now, guys. Well, I'd go straight. Uh, hold on. You're kidding. If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, guys, we have we're having a lot of issues pronouncing this. I wouldn't return it so fast, right? Why? What would you do? Why? What would you do? Why? Why? What would you do? All right. What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Uh huh. Well, well, I will try to buy a lot of clothes and and then you could go to jail. Someone hmm. might also find You've out got... about it, and then you could also go to jail. Repeat. Someone might all buy about it. Point there. Someone might you got a point that we find out mm -hmm. about you it. Want, you got you mm, got a point, point there. there. Very good. There. All right, guys. So let's practice, guys. So what will you do? Okay, what will you do if you found seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars? Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, to each of your rooms, guys, to your, each of your breaking rooms. If, and, and I'm gonna listen to you, okay? All right. So let's answer this question, guys. What would you, what would Phil, actually, none of us will Phil do. What would you do, guys, if you found $750,000? Us, as Salvadorians, we know that we would, we would return it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It on the I don't know. What do you think, guys? What do you think? And also, guys, tell me, what would you do with that money? If you didn't return it, guys, what would you do with it, right? Would you? How would you? How would you be able buy to a house? It? Hey, but how can you buy a house if you just found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? You're not able to buy a house. Yeah. Why? Why are you not able to buy a house, guys? Good job, Jacqueline. Welcome. Uh, why are you not able to buy a house, guys? If you found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. I have a name, Papa. Go ahead, Jackie. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, I thought I thought that you okay. I thought that you were gonna say something. All right. Um, what do you think? Uh, Yixael? Actually, actually, I am an honest thief, so I, I return it. You return. I will it. return it. Okay. All right. Very good. I'm gonna send you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and send you the the question to the to the WhatsApp group. Now, the reason why, guys, I'm saying that is because you would not be able to return it. You know why? Because there is something, guys. The bank will ask you, "Hey, where did you get that money from?" Got it? Yes. So that's why you need money laundry. Do you know what money laundry is? Mm -hmm. All right. So that yep. that's the only way that you could that you could yeah okay very good. You know what what presidents do, right? In this country. All right, guys. So let's go and let's practice. All right, let's go. Okay. Hey, good evening, Ricardo. Um... Morales. What's up? What happened with the money you found? I don't know who went to start. 
$750,000. Okay, Ricardo, I have. <laughs> okay, well, um, first of all, uh, I will, I I will would. pay. No, I'll, not, not I will, because it's not a real situation, right? It's not a real situation. It's not ah, okay, yeah. Imaginary. All right, so I, I would. I will pay my... Um, uh, how to say prestamos? I my my loans. my. Loans. No, I would I would pay my loans exactly. What? Sorry. Loans. Loans. Loans like this. Loans. 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 Ah, loans. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, I will pay my uh, loans, and and I will. Change my car. Okay. And I will uh, bought a big house. You will buy a beach house. Yeah, and and I will make a business. Okay. Okay. I, I, I would start the business. I will start the business. But how will you do that if you had to? You know, if you couldn't spend that money, how that, that's what I want you to solve. What would you do if you were not able to spend that money? Or not, not, yeah, you were you wouldn't be able to spend it, right? Because you, you would need to, to, you know, it's not legal, it's not legal money. So, how would you do to make that money legal? Mm, well, um. I will to return, but I, uh, I don't know who. It might appear. The police, oh. maybe. Police? With police? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry, Luis, what were you going to say? Maybe it, it might, uh, I will, uh, if I will found seven. If I found. Uh, if I found. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, if I found 750,000. Dollar in my garden, my fifty thousand dollars. Thousand dollar in my garden. How do you say enterrado? Um, what enterrado? Yes, in, in Mariles. Oh, you would. You would... <laughs> do you remember that? <laughs> okay, you would. You would hide it inside. I... You would. Bur you would, you can either bury it. Bury. Uh, bur bury is, is to. You know, okay, to my, put it like my, underground, right? You would bury it with in, inside barrels. Uh -huh, with my, barrels. I suppose I I bought a a, a terreno of land in, in the garden. I, I if I found <laughs> seven hundred fifty thousand dollars in the garden, yeah. Okay. Maybe may, I would uh. I will to buy a car. I will to buy. Uh, I will to buy a, a house. I would uh, buy a house. Okay. Uh, very good. All right. Continue, guys. Continue. It's better to say, "Wait, well, I don't have to. Don't I am not. Touch I'm not touch that, that money because because you will have <laughs> a, a big problem. Uh, yes. So, yeah, maybe. I uh have. -huh, it's a, it's a laundry or may or narco traffic. Like a like a barriles. Do you remember that say barrels? <laughs> no, bar yes. How do you say barril in English? Barrel. Barrel, like a barrel, no? That's las caletas, las caletas. Or uh -huh, or, well, or uh, caletas. <laughs> caletas in, in Colombia. Oh, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. What, I don't know what that is. What is that? What is that que? Caletas. Have yeah. you ever seen Pablo Escobar? Nope. Okay, that's the problem. <laughs> that's, <laughs> how is that the problem? That shouldn't be the problem. You know? All right, very good. I, yeah, I because... Teacher, what well, is that? How do you translate that? Tell me. Uh, teacher. Tell me. Just, just like do you, barrels do you, and... Hold, hold on. Oh, it's just like I'm barrels. Sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Lino. How do you say invertir? Invest. Invest. 
Okay. Invest, not invest. 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 Uh -huh. invest. Okay. Or he, 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 uh -huh. uh, you could invest in the uh, ballo bag. <laughs> in the what? Uh, he, with the you have a lot of money, you, you mean can stock market. You can in, invest in the bag ball. Bag ball. Bag ball. Bag ball. What is Balu that? Bag ball. Bolsa de valores. That's stock market. Stock market. <laughs> stock market. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't. You don't. You don't literally translate everything. Okay? You have to. You say it a different way. It's like totally different, right? You say stock market. Market. All right, I, I, I typed it in there, in here, because you can take a look at it. All right, very good. Okay. And Jacqueline was telling me that those are barrels. Are right. barrels that are uh, in, in the, <laughs> I don't know, bajo tierra? Underground? Enterrados? How do you say Buried? Yeah, how do you say it? Yes, Buried. that. Say so in, Yes, in a specific in specific properties okay. and then you go and and I don't know just I don't know just pull up the <laughs> oh, well do you understand my no. point <laughs> no but continue practicing okay we need more vocabulary <laughs> I'll ask yeah. you later all right good job Home office for the four month. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Okay. Um, for my job, teacher, I speak. For... Talking about his job. Oh. And the building, and in, in this building. And what happened? Oh, that building. Oh, that, going... is that the World Trade Center? No, no. I going to release a, a building for Millennium Plaza in El Salvador. You're gonna release it? Is oh, I don't know. <laughs> you mean you're gonna inaugurate it, or what? What do you mean? What do you do for a living, man? <laughs> for for moment, uh, I don't know it's to too big. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's cool. Yeah, it is. Wait, what what are That's you? What what so do you cool. do for a living? What do you do for a living means they they get trabajas. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um engineer testing. You are what? Yeah, test engineer testing for system. You mean you're a computer engineer? Yes. <clears throat> That's so nice. I'm studying that. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Okay, all right, very good. So so what does this building have to do with with what you do? I'm confused, man. Uh I don't know how we got here. Uh no, so because you're talking about that's your building yeah. that you're gonna know. release. All right, that's okay. I didn't understand that. What do you mean that he's gonna release the building? <laughs> Is the building trapped or something? <laughs> what do you mean? Release. You're muted. You're muted. Um. Oh, for, uh -huh. for money? um. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not understanding. Okay, hold on. What are you? What are you talking about? I'm asking. ¿Qué tiene que ver el edificio con que se hace ingeniero y que lo vas a liberar? I, I'm confused. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Uh, tell me. Um, I don't know. Uh, how do you say in, in English? Uh, uh, estrenar. Estrenar. I don't know. I would, I, I would bring it out. But what, what are you? You're going to... Hold on. What are you talking about? The, 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 the Google is above. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, 
de, de, de Google Traduc Traduction. Uh, I don't know, really. You, you, uh, you will show it off. I mean, you will inaugurate it. What? What do you mean? <laughs> he, he was talking about that he worked on that new building. Okay. From his house. Okay. And he doesn't know where or when he's going to return. Oh, to okay. About right. pandemia. Okay, so you work, you work in that building, Ellington? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. The, um, but you're working from home now? Yes. My God. What, no, what is no, no returner for a company because... Uh, the company no problem for a job in home office. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, okay, yeah. I, I got you. In my case. In my, in my case. Let, let's continue practicing. I was so confused, man. Thank okay. you, Joseph, for Sorry. clearing Sorry. that out for me. <laughs> I was like I was like, is, is that his building? Is I thought that you were you were uh, you know uh, the owner or, of the I, building. I, right? Yeah, like I thought he was the owner. Or he was like the architect, you know, no. something like that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Right, that's okay, man. That's okay. I continue. Uh, I gotta, I gotta study English because I like to 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 have a a, a, a better a better uh, position in my in my work. Oh, it's for work. I need, I need to know speak English. And I need to be a professional. And you? Uh, and I started to study for my boss. L. L. And All right. It's okay. I want one. Just I'm sorry to interrupt, guys. Just one thing. It's not. I started. I started. Hold on. Studying for my boss. Studying for my boss. It's not for my boss, guys. It's because of. Okay. All right. Because of the reason why you started studying was because of your boss. Uh huh? Okay. Uh, it wrote, um, but, uh, but they fired him. Uh, I eh, me cedió el, el, el puesto, la posición. Okay, he gave me the chance. Ajá, uh -huh, okay. Um, okay. Eh, for that. Continue, continue. <laughs> Here's the teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi teacher. We finished the, the school. The school, the discussion. What is the discussion? The discussion. Uh, discussion. All right. Discussion. <laughs> Don't finish. You need to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Okay. Yes. Very good. Uh, so, what will you do if you if you found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? In my case, maybe I return the money with a police or fiscalia because the money always have a owner. Okay. And, mm -hmm. oh, and I see you return it because of that. And this time it's very dangerous found a money in the many place. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't still like or you wouldn't grab like at least a thousand dollars or something. <laughs> I I don't think people would track one thousand dollars. What do you think? In my case never I found I found money. Okay, you have never found money, okay. All right. In my so case, what, what, what if you did? Hold on. Lights went off. Uh -huh. what what will you do? What will you do, uh Carla? If I found money maybe uh -huh. I I found the the owner. You 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 would find the owner. Yes, but if I, I would find the owner. 
If I find the owner. No, uh, you, would, you need to say, I would find the owner. I will find the owner. Uh huh. What else? Um, yes. But Do if what? I I find it, maybe I I use it um buy something for me. Okay, so you would you would you would buy things for you. Hey, but yes. if you return it to you know if you return it to La Fiscalia, if you return it to the authorities, they're gonna steal the money. <laughs> so I don't know. Think about it. Would you like the government to steal even more money? I don't know, mm -hmm. Ray. It's a mm -hmm. tough decision. Maybe yes. you could do something else about it. Maybe you could donate it to like every your your whole city or I don't know. Mm -hmm. do something better with it. <laughs> I say I say if I say Carla that many many years ago, uh, in some some place in El Salvador. The people found uh, barriles. How do you say barriles? People I don't know. People found barrels. Barrels, uh huh. People found barrels with money. Maybe five barrels uh, with money. Do you remember? Do you remember, teacher? No, I don't remember that. Then what happened? In this barrel, barrels, 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 uh, they take a police and they take a fiscalia. And the uh, and this moment and this in this time anybody know who, what happened with money this money uh lost with uh, many many hands okay the money lost okay yes exactly no i i agree with that i agree with that. Mm -hmm. all right very good guys so let's go ahead and go back right now so we can start going over the topic okay, okay? Good job. All right, guys. Good job, guys. Good practice, guys. The reason why we were practicing that is because I'm going to teach you guys about unreal conditionals. Other, uh, also known as second conditional. How do we call them, guys? Second conditional. Second conditional or unreal conditionals, okay? Why do you think that they're called unreal conditionals? Because, because we're talking about hypothetical um, situations. Yeah, that's because because what I'm sorry. <laughs> because, we're talking about hypothetical situations. Hypothetical situations, unreal situations, right? Very good, guys. So yes, guys, exactly. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Ixel. All right. Thank you, uh, Ixel from Cuatro Vision. All right. Take a look, Ixel, guys. He's in. He's in Cuatro Vision right now. <laughs> All right, man. All right. Just wait to be famous. <laughs> All right. You are, man. You are. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate that, man. <laughs> that's not Cuatro Vision, though. That's, that's uh, Código and Tino, right? <laughs> I'll regresar. All right. Very good. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's talk about, you know, what you would do if you found $750,000. Okay, guys, so we use second conditional, guys, for imaginary situations. For what? Imaginary, imaginary situations. All right, because you, okay, we're, we're, not, we're not talking about real situations, guys. If I ask you, what would you do if you found $750,000? You know, guys, that you haven't found any $750,000, that you haven't found $750,000, right? It's imaginary, right? You're imaginary. You're imagining that situation, all right? In real life, you will go ahead and return it to the owner, right? That's what you would do. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, very good, guys. Uh, let's think about, let's see, Lino. I don't know if your wife is around, but what, what no, Lino, you're, you might be told. What, what, what artist do you like a lot? Lolita. Um, <laughs> Cheyenne. Cheyenne, right? Let's go. <laughs> Cheyenne, but All right, Cheyenne. He doesn't have an option, right? Wife is around. Okay, very good. So, Cheyenne, guys. Okay, let's talk about Cheyenne. All right. First of all, guys, so what action can we can we what action can we imagine with Cheyenne, guys? 
How about Cheyenne? Hoggy. Okay, che Cheyenne Hoggy. Now, is this a reality, guys? Is this real or a imaginary situation? Real or it's unreal? Imaginary situation. Unreal. So it is unreal, right? It is an imaginary situation, right? Because Cheyenne is not hugging you. Okay? So my question would be then, what would you do if Cheyenne... All right, Cheyenne hugged you. All right, so what would you do if Cheyenne hugged you? Now, listen, we're not talking about a situation that is real, right? Oh, I would feel happy. I would hug him back. All right. Does it mean, guys, that you you feel happy, or th that you're gonna hug, that you will hug him back? Is this is this real? No. Is this real? No, guys. This is only in your head, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. So that's why they're called unreal conditionals. Now, why are they called conditionals? Because we are gonna use the if clause. Okay, if determines the condition, right? But let's take a look at the first example. Esther, help me read, Esther. What would you do if you found $700? 700. 700. No, I'm sorry. $7,000. Seven. I don't know. Oh sorry. Oh, $750. Imagine, 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 right, in a real situation. Imagine that you found, imagine that you found a genie. You know what a genie is? A genie, a genie. A genie is, is, is a... Like Aladino. Exactly, like Aladdin, right? Aladdin is a genie, okay? Imagine you found a genie, and he's asking you, hey, how much <laughs> how much money do you wish for? And you're like, 700, 700. Oh, one million. Oh, I say one million Two dollars. Million. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're not going to get any money because you don't know how to pronounce it, okay? You know how to pronounce it, so... Let's be careful with that, okay? Because right. we we say two millions. Oh, okay. Because you have to say two millions. Okay, that's 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 fair too. Okay, that's good too. All right, very good, guys. All right, guys. So, what is the answer, guys? I would or I repeat, guys. I. 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 Now, very common I. mistake, guys. Very common mistake because we speak Spanish. I. People say people usually say will. It's not will, guys. Good. You do not pronounce the L, guys. Repeat with me. Good. Would no guys, would. not good. No, that's another mistake. Saying good. It's not good. The pronunciation of this is the the exact pronunciation as this word, guys. Would would repeat guys. Would would. Would 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 would. Would would. All right. You don't pronounce the L, guys. Do not pronounce the L. Would would. Repeat with would. Would would. All right. No, also guys, don't say good. Right? It's not cool. Go go. No, it's not go. Cool. Word. You said go. Right, very good, guys. Very good. good. All right. So let's move on, guys. So what would you do if you found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars? Uh, let's see, Jocelyn. So what is the first example? Um, I would go straight to the mall. Very good. I would go or or what is the contracted form? I would go. Either. All right. Either. I'd recommend you guys to, to start using I because it's easier. I'd go straight to the mall. Very good. Number two, Carla Gabriela, let's go. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Jewelry. Repeat guys, jewelry. Jewelry. Very good. Jewelry. What else? What else? Notice, guys, that we're using different models, right? We're using would, Jewelry. could, might. Okay. What about might, Lucia Pacheco? Jewelry. I might go to the police. Very good. I might go to the police. Very good. All right. Uh, let's see, Luis Molina. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Return it so fast. Okay. It so fast. Very good. Are these are these imaginary situations, guys? Yes. Yes, they are imaginary situations. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Oh, very good, very good. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, clear as tequila. Very good, guys. Okay, my favorite, guys. Write down the structure. Okay, 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. So let's write down the structure, okay? So if plus past simple plus would or could or might plus verb, okay? If. Now we're going to see something interesting here, guys. When we're talking about an imaginary situation, guys, let's talk about pronouns, okay? So let's talk about uh, let's talk about I. Do I say I was or I were in the past? What do you think? Was. I was. I was. Okay. What about was. you? Was. You was or you were? You were. You were. You were. What about he? He was or he were? He was. He was. He was. He was. What about she? She was or she were? She was. She was. She was. <laughs> she was. Okay. Now, guys, there is another rule. If you're talking about an imaginary situation, all right, something hypothetical. You have to use where. 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 I wear, he wear, she wear. Okay. Now why, guys? Because you can say if I were you, right? If I were you, I wouldn't do it. Si yo fuera vos, I wouldn't do it. Now, is this guys? If I say if I were you, Ellen Todd, am I you or is that just an imaginary situation? Is that unreal? Um, what do you think? What do you mean? Uh, it's imaginary. It's an imaginary situation, guys, because I am not Ellington, right? I cannot be two people at the same time. So if it is an imaginary situation, guys, you have to use where. Even if the 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 verb be, guys, is not um is not the one that we usually use. Okay, even if the verb be is not was, you have to use where. All right, very good. Is that clear? Yes. A little yes. bit? Clear. Yes. yes, teacher. All right, so if if it is, guys, if you're gonna use a conditional and you're gonna, and you're gonna say, uh, and you're gonna use the pronoun he, what is the verb in the past that you're gonna use? What is the, 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 the verb be in the past that you're gonna use? Where? You're gonna use where, you're still gonna be using where, right? Very she good. Need very, very good, okay? All right, guys, so now, if, guys, if we use if at the beginning of the sentence, if I were you, for example, do I need comma or no comma? Comma. Comma. Yes. You need a comma, yes. If I use, it, if I use the clause if, guys, uh, you know, in the second position, do I need comma or no, or no comma? No comma. No, no right? Comma. I wouldn't need any comma whatsoever. Let's read the first example. Help me read. Let's see. Uh, Leah Campos, help me read. Hello. Uh, help me read. We're reading. We're reading. We're reading. We're reading. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay, you're seeing the other thing. What are you seeing right now? Are you seeing the... the YouTube. I was, I was going to upload... I was going to yeah. upload the, the video right now. <laughs> All right, very good. Hold on. You should okay. see this. Man, I hate what that happened. Okay, very good. Right? Can you see now the presentation? Yes? Very good. All right, guys. So punctuation, okay? All right, let's read the first example, Leah. All right, Leah, I think she got stuck. Uh, YXL, let's read the first example. Okay, the first example is if I were in France, I would visit the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel, repeat guys, the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Eiffel. Eiffel Tower. Eiffel. Very good, okay. If I were in France, I would visit the Eiffel Tower. Now, what are we using first, guys? Are we using the if clause first or are we using the main clause first? Lucia, what are we using? What are we using first? What are the options? Okay. Do we use the first, do we use the if clause first or do we use the, the main clause first? And the example is here. The if clause, very good. Very good, guys, okay? All right, now, check this out, guys. I would visit the Eiffel Tower if I were in France. Am I using a comma? No, any comma. comma. No comma, right? No, don't say any, guys. No comma, right? Any, any doesn't mean none, okay? All right, so let's take a look at, at these examples. 
Now, actually, guys, you have seen some examples, but take a look at this. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new house, a new apartment. Now, what tense is this, guys? She had a lot of money. What is that? I didn't know it. Simple past. Simple past, okay. What about she could buy a new apartment? What is that? It's a second condition. Uh, because they're on real situation. Or real very good. Situation. Okay, very good. All right, what about they would be happy? What is that? Okay. Imaginary. That's an imaginary situation, okay? It's again, it's an unreal, it's, it's an unreal condition. Now, if I say if they won the lottery, what is that? Mm -hmm. They won the lottery. Past tense. Condition. Okay, it is the past tense, right? So here, guys, you can say, you can say, guys, they would be happy, for example. Okay, you can say that this is simple present, right? However, we're adding the model, so that's an unreal, uh, it's an unreal present, okay? If we were a present, now notice this, guys. Usually, guys, what verb, if we use the verb be, guys, and we use the pronoun he, what should the verb be? In what form should the verb be? What Would it be he where or he was? Where. 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 where? No, guys, in, uh, was. it should be, it should need, like, it should be, uh, was. He, he was, right? He was. This is what we usually use, guys. He was. But because this is a conditional and because this is an unreal situation, we're using the word. Got it? Now, what about this, guys? Tell me, this, us. tell me if this is correct. No, 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 no. Don't get confused, guys. If you're talking, guys, about the past and not a conditional, not a conditional, will you say he was or he were? He was. He was. He was, was okay? Was. Just a second conditional, conditional, and an unreal situation. Do you say he were or he was? He were. He were. He were. He were. He were. You say he were. Check this out, guys, okay? Let's see how confused you are now. All right, very good. What about if I say, if I said, if I, you tell me if it is was or were. Rude. Yes. I am sorry. Where? Okay, guys. So if I, if I, hold on, think about it, okay? Think for a moment about it because I am going to ask you. Is it if I was rude, I am sorry, or if I were rude, I am sorry? If I were rude, I, was, I am I sorry. I were. Because you use Why? if. Like I a condition. Was. Why? Why? Somebody explain to me why are you choosing where? Because you are using because the Because we... We, because we use if. Okay, what is okay, guys? In order for, in order for us to use where, with a verb, with I mean with a. With a subject that is it, not. It was. Hold, guys, hold on. Let me let me let me let me explain to you, okay? All right. Thank God because the conditions, guys. The, hold on, hold on. Let me explain the conditions, guys. It has to be a second conditional in an unreal situation. Both of them have to have to be real, guys, okay? You have to use a second, right? Second conditional and an unreal situation, okay? All right, these two things need to be true, guys. It, otherwise, guys, it is not. This is not even a second condition, a full, a full sec, second conditional, because notice the second part. I am sorry, right? Now, if I say if I was rude, I am sorry. If I was rude, is that unreal, guys? Is that an imaginary situation? If I tell you, Jacqueline, hey, Jacqueline, if I was rude to you, I am sorry. Yeah. Is that is that an imaginary situation? No, or something it's real. No. real. It's, it's real, real guys. I'm talking about yeah. a real situation because I might have been rude to Jacqueline. Got it? Got it? Yes. Right? Yo pude haber yeah. sido rudo con yes. Jacqueline y por eso le estoy diciendo, mira, si, si fui rudo con vos, lo siento. ¿verdad? Lo siento. I, I am asking, I am, I, am, I am apologizing. I am asking for forgiveness, okay? Because I might have been rude to Jacqueline. So, if it is I not... Think about it. <laughs> if it is not a real, guys, if it is not unreal, you use the, the you use 
the subject verb agreement rule. The subject verb agreement rule, guys, is if you use mm -hmm. I, the verb is was. If you use you, what is the what if I said if if you fun. were what if I said if you were rude, you should apologize. All right, now should I say if you was rude or if you were rude? Where is correct? If, if you, you were. If you were. were. All right, very good, guys. Okay. You, if you use you, guys, if we use you, we, they, all right, you have to use where, regardless. Got it? Because that's the, the subject verb agreement. Got it? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. What about these guys? If he was rude, he should apologize. Or if he were rude, he should apologize. What is it? He, he, were. he were. No, guys. He no, he, he was. was rude. Yes. He was. Because we're not talking about, if we're not talking about a, an a real situation. situation. Exactly. Got it? Yeah. yeah. Got it? It can only apply, guys, if you're, you're talking about an imaginary situation. Okay? Got it? All right. Let's have another example, okay? Okay, if I, is it, if I was hard on you, I, if I was hard on you, I, I don't know, I, I understand you. Is it, if I was harder than you, I understand you, or if I were harder than you, I understand you? Was. It's real. It was. was it is was, real, guys. Yeah, it, it was. It was. Yeah. Okay. It's it's real was. Situation. Because it's a real was situation. Was. All right. Very good. All right, guys. So we're going to practice more tomorrow, guys. Please finish. You're free to finish the platform now, guys. Please bring out any questions that you might come across while finishing the platform. Remember that the platform has to be finished, guys, before this. Before. Before, guys. Not on. Before this Thursday, okay? So you have two days to finish the platform. Now, I will be helping you guys up until this uh, Thursday with the questions. So, but try to finish it. And if you have questions, we're going to solve them along the way. Okay. So we're going to solve all the platform guys along the way until Thursday. Got it? Sounds okay. like a plan. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well done guys. All right. If that's the case, guys, thank you so much for coming guys. I will see you tomorrow. Take care guys. Okay. Good night. Oh. Okay. Good night. Yeah. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Bye bye.